this Bantamweight division ubiquitously regarded as the deepest in the top 15 right now in the UFC. And this man's the number one contender. He has beaten so many talented fighters to get this title fight. Now we'll see what the hell he can do with it. Hey, beat them all, except the champion. Right. It's such a weird thing that you can go through so many tough guys, but ultimately the toughest one is the one you get last. So you go through this murderer's row of people to earn an opportunity, and now you get to fight the best. The champion is good, man, but this guy believes he has the skill set to take that title from him. Yeah, he's been forged by the experience. He derives so much confidence from the training room, and it all comes down to these 25 minutes or fewer for the number one Bantamweight contender. out of the great nation of Georgia, repping Team Sarah Longo there on the northeastern side of the U.S. May Rob Dwalish Willie has been on the championship course for a long time. He's got a big fight in front of him tonight. All he does is win, John, and he wins in a certain way. He pressures you and he breaks you down. I have seen so many great bantamweights fight for Rob Dwalish Willie, and you can see they start to lose, not only physically, but in the spirit. He attacks you at a level that's higher than just your body. He's a great wrestler. He will put a pressured pace on you that not many people can stay with. And I'm not sure that any athlete has ever muted Jose Aldo's offense as much as Dwalish Willie did back in 2022. And Rob, back under the bright lights tonight. Our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Marab the Machine, Wally Sterling. Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready. one. Ready. Good. Yeah. All right, we are ready to get this round underway. And you know Marab Dwalis Willie is a guy who probably doesn't need 60 seconds between rounds. He is the machine. There may be no more appropriate nickname in the sport. It's offense in bunches. He's one of the more offensive fighters in the sport and uh, wouldn't be surprised, depending on how long the fight goes, to see North with 15 or 20 takedown attempts here tonight. No surprise to see the early takedown attempt in succession out of Mayrod, Dwalish Willie. If you open this man up, I'm not sure he's human. No, he's not human. The guy can go as hard as anyone I've ever seen. Stop one, you better be ready to stop 15 takedowns. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. A great shot from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Dwalis Will. Oh, now he's attacking his own triangle. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Looks like maybe he's gonna be in real trouble now. He will not stop fighting. Arm triangle attempt. He's gotta get that elbow going forward. He's gotta drop his chest to the mat. 
Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work and you'll get the finish. Oh, submission defense holds up again. It's on point. He's constantly in the attack and he's constantly back to the submission attempts back to back. Out of range with that kick attempt. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Oh, now gets an under. Wallace Miller gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. All right, so he's got him in the north. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, my gosh. How did he get his arm? Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. He's beating on the ground. You can't allow that to happen. The fight does go down there. I want you on top. So look for your scrambles. Look for your sweeps. Look for your reverses. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready. Here we are, early round two. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful level change. Takedown defense holds up. Huge knee lands from the club. Out of range with that one. Nice crack there. of those types of strikes. Chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. 
Beautiful. Nice shot there by the champ. Ten seconds to go in the round. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Good round. Ready. Ready. Go. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body. Yes. Flawless Miller really gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Beautiful shot to the leg. Wallace Willow gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Getting them all here. Just over three minutes to go now. Wallace Willie's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Yeah, Paige and Alexio let it. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, go Tony Morgan. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get some. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Good, solid strike on the ground. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. To Wallace Willie's right back to the format. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. Hey, stop. All right, there's the horn, so the round is over, but not before the fighter sustained that cut on his forehead. We'll see if the cut man can close it up and prevent it from becoming an issue here into the latter rounds. Going. Don't get into... All right, well, the athletes have kept the replay truck busy tonight. We will take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. He opened a cut above his opponent's eye. And now the cut becomes a story. We are going to have to watch the placement of this cut. Is the blood going to start to leak into the eye? How is he going to be able to fight through the damage that was dealt on those shots? What a great round by his opponent. But now it's on Ready. him to make the adjustments that gives himself a chance. And it's not just the cut man who has his work cut out for him. We'll see if he can make those adjustments and rally here in this next round. Great punch landed with so much power. 
All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's calculus. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strap around their waist. It's amazing. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Beautiful submission attempt here. Got that submission locked up very tight. Wow, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, has the guard closed here? If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. He does everything. So oh! Cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. for this fighter here tonight, called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, the Rob, the machine, Wally Scully. So there he is, all smiles, the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion of the world. That is the way he came in. That is the way he goes out after turning in a huge submission win here tonight. And now all that's left to do 